obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the floor heating system inside a room. The present problem simulates the heat transfer from floor heating system into a room. In fact, this heating system is built into the floor of the room which acts as the heat source. It is assumed that this heating system has a constant thermal flux of 166.6 Watt per meter squared. The side walls and ceiling have a thickness, thickness of 0.2 meters of wood which has convection heat transfer with the outside. Thus, the ambient air temperature is assumed to be 280 Kelvin and the convection heat transfer coefficient is assumed to be 10. The purpose of this study is to investigate the heat transfer rate through the floor heating system to the interior of the room using natural convection and buoyancy effect. Therefore, gravity is applied to the model and the air inside the room is considered to be an ideal gas. The present 3D model is drawn using Design Modeler software and consists of a room in the shape of a rectangular cube. The mesh is done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is a structure. The element number is equal to 93,280. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the Console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. There are several assumptions made in this project. The first assumption is the type of our solver, which is pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. And the second assumption is about the velocity formulation, which is in the absolute form. Also, we have in, uh, we have taken our time study format as a steady and we wanted our results to not be a function of time. Also due to the existence of buoyant forces and body forces, we have activated gravitational acceleration. In the appeared window, we enable the energy equation since we want to know the temperature distribution inside our geometry and computational domain. However, in this project, the default material, which is the air, is said to be the material used in this simulation. By double clicking on the air material, a window will appear. In the appeared window, you can see the properties for the material. All the parameters has been set to a constant value except for the density. You can see that the density setting has been set to be ideal gas. And as it's obvious by, it, by its name, it uses the ideal gas equation to account for the density changes. After clicking on this boundary and then clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you will be able to change the settings for this boundary. Under the momentum tab, you will see that the wall motion and shear condition defined for this boundary is a stationary wall and no slip. As for other boundaries from zone 1 to zone 6, the explained settings are defined without any change for each boundary except for zone 5. After double clicking on the methods button, a new window will appear. In this window, the pressure velocity coupling schemes or, uh, has been shown. Also, spatial discretization methods have been explained and shown. Now, the pressure velocity coupling scheme is set to be coupled, which means that the pressure and uh, momentum equation are solved together and in tandem. Also, the spatial discretization refers to the different discretization methods for each variable. For example, you can see that two reports are defined for this project. And by right-clicking on the first report and then clicking on Edit, a new window will appear. In the Appeared window, you can see that a integral report type has been defined for the variable of total surface heat flux and on the surface of zone 6 which is obviously about the total heat flux generated on the zone 6 boundary and you can see the values and changes of these report while the simulation is progressing. After double clicking on the run calculation button you will be able to change the total number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. After defining the number of iteration, by clicking on the calculate the simulation till the start. In this section, 3D and 2D streamlines and contours of velocity will be extracted using CFD Post software.
As can be obviously seen in this 3D streamline contour, the convection flow has formed. Now, as was mentioned in the previous slide, this simulation is about uh, floor heating. And in this simulation, gravity effects and buoyancy effects have been taken into account. And you can easily see how the convection flow has formed inside the geometry and how the streamlines are moving inside the computational domain. As was mentioned in previous slides, you have taken the ideal gas equation to account for the density changes of the air. Now, when the air is heated near the boundary, its density decreases, and this decrease in density will cause the air to go higher in the geometry. And the colder air, which is in the upper layer of the geometry, will take its place near the heating boundary, which is again caused by buoyancy effects and forces. Now, in order to see the 2D streamline in the middle plane of the geometry, you just have to select the type of the streamline and change it from 3D streamline to 2D streamline. After that, you just have to select a defined plane, which would be plane 1, and after that, you just have to click on apply for you to show the 2D streamlines. Now, as was mentioned in the previous slide, this simulation is about uh, floor heating, and in this simulation, gravity effects and buoyancy effects have been taken into account. And you can easily see how the convection flow has formed inside the geometry and how the streamlines are moving inside the computational domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmestercfd.com.